my turn. Uh, my name's Scott Rise. No relation to him. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one's this one uh, cousins. <laughs> Maybe. I uh, brought a couple of things. I brought a uh, Game Boy SP. Uh, it's got the music tech, or the, yeah, the Pixel Hate music tech cartridge in it. It just kind of turns it into a fun little 8 bit synthesizer. Did bring the headphone adapter, so you can't really hear it unless you come up here. Um, of course, I didn't like playing it with the buttons on the Game Boy, so I put a MIDI port in here so I can play it with the keyboard if I want. Um, <coughs> the other thing I brought is my MMM. Um, I'll let the other guys talk about it a little more, but uh, I'm designing the, the MIDI to CV converter for it. And George keeps asking for all these changes, so I got tired of pulling the thing out. <laughs> so I designed my own custom module here with a zip socket. So I pull the chip out, put it in the programmer. Makes it a lot easier. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, also, uh, I want to see what it looks like with knobs. So. Oh, um, yeah, that's it. Cool. So what's new with the video? What do you say? George asked what's new with the MIDI. Uh, adding some things to it, like uh, it's got a zero to five volt mod output here. Uh, so you can use the controller with other things, or you can actually uh, have it mix a triangle wave in with the CV out. Um, you're going to be adding a not so secret setup menu so you can turn that on and off. Uh, you can uh, change it from high note, low note, and last note priority. Yes. If you want to be happy about that. But yeah, so you know, there's a few different options if people wanted different things. So, yeah, let a menu go. I have a question. Here. Does, yes. does, it, does it already have Glide implemented, or is that? Oh, oh yeah. boy, does it? Well, okay. <laughs> I just didn't know. I could... Yeah, it does. Um, there's there's like a it, it does a couple of things that's tough to do in the analog world. Like there's a fixed time glide, there's like step glide, where it'll only play like actual notes. Um, and you can do all that through. You can choose also so it'll only glide in one direction or the other. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Nice. Oh. It's like glide next. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get MIDI on the Nintendo? Yeah. On the oh. Game Boy? Hmm? Is it? How did you get MIDI on the Game Boy? Oh, uh, it's a little board called Midify. It's about that big. You know, it fits in there. You just solder it in, and uh, every time you press a key on there, it'll emulate a button press on the Game Boy. It doesn't go any different. Scott owns Division Six, which manufactures that Minify board. You can Minify anything. anything. <laughs> yeah. There's a YouTube video of him Minifying his microwave cooking a corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. could, could you demonstrate a little bit of those oh. light features you're talking about? Yeah. So, so that's the stepped glide. Instead of just being a smooth slope that, that, that just kind of skid from one uh, note to the next. This is unique too, this is the fixed time where So you can set it to Okay, like it's on two seconds. So if I go from one key to the one right next to it, it'll take two seconds, or if I go from this key all the way down to here, it'll take two seconds. So it actually calculates the amount of time for the range. Huh? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's two seconds. That's new. Uh -huh. And again, you know, it's supposed to be an analog sound. That's kind of tough to do with the analog world. <laughs> awesome. Figured as long as we had to put some digital in it, we'd cheat a little. <laughs> <laughs>